What do you know about Ghana's all-time serial killer? Meet Ghana's all-time serial killer, who killed 30-plus women. Charles Eber Kwanza, a.k.a. Okra Strangler. Around 1993-2000, Ghana had experienced a number of mysterious killings. Some you may have heard of, some you haven't. Anyway, what made these killings to be set aside from the previous ones Ghana had experienced was the rampant rate at which they were occurring and the strange connections they had. The murders occurred in and around Accra, Ghana's capital, and also in Kumasi, Ghana's second largest city. In the course of these killings, a record number of 30 plus women were reported murdered in a way which bored the same chilling scenes like being stripped down to waste, raped, strangled to death, unused condoms scattered all around, empty syringes left behind, and sometimes their blood had been drawn. Most of the victims were food sellers or sex workers. This set of killings came to be known as Mataheiko murder. Named after Mataheiko, the area these killings happened. After months of pressure on the government and the police service, which led to a timely collaboration between the police of Ghana and the Federal Bureau of Investigation, FBI. Some of you may know him as the Accra Strangler, but his actual name was Charles Kopina Ebo Kwanza. This man, due to his past encounters with the police and aggressive behavior towards women, in fact, the records of police had revealed that Charles Kwanza had been convicted and jailed for once killing his girlfriend Joyce Botin, and not only that, he was also accused and charged for the murder of Akwasirwa, a woman who was found strangled near the Kumasi Sports Stadium in Kumasi on January 19, 1996. Numerous police records showed that the Accra Strangler had in the past been arrested for assault cases and even theft. He was convicted for the murders of nine other women whose details have been withheld. Charles Kwanza, in police custody during interrogations, confessed to the killing of a maid in his home when he lived in Kamasi. He was initially apprehended in 2000 and trial for the serial killings, which began on Thursday, July 11, 2002, at the High Court Criminal Sessions, Accra. He was convicted for the murders of 9 to 30 women and sentenced to be hanged to death. He denies these charges up to now as the death penalty in Ghana has been rarely carried out in Ghana since 1993. He was a mechanic living in the neighborhood of Adenta. The news of the Accra Strangler to date still sends shivers down the spines of those whose family members met their demise at the hands of this notorious serial killer. Please don't forget to like, subscribe and comment for our next video.